Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm sorry that I've been MIA but it's due to the fact that I don't have a ring light at the moment. It's coming real soon, I promise. So I have to use daylight and it's been very, very dark in New York for the past week. Today we finally have like sun so that's why I'm filming this April's favorite for you guys and I know, I know I'm late. I'm sorry, but I've been kind of busy doing a um, couple of things. So if you guys want to see what I was enjoying for the month of April, just please keep on watching. So let me start with skincare. So for the month of April, I don't know if it was my hormones or if it was the weather that had my skin acting crazy. So I bought this mask and this is the um, Sephora Mud Mask, the purifying and mattifying mask. You could find this only at Sephora. I bought a couple of months ago and I wasn't really using it a lot, but in the month of April, since you know my face was acting all crazy, I grabbed it and I started using it more and trust me you guys, this thing works so good. This is the only mask that I'm using right now and it has cleared my um, my breakout and some of my dark spots a lot. So if you guys are having the same problem as me, you guys might want to go to the store or go to the website to Sephora.com and check it out. It's only $19 and it works pretty, pretty good. So recently LA Colors came up with or came out with a couple of products really really good products and I have heard so many great things about this palette that I'm about to show you guys here on YouTube and also on Instagram and you know a girl had to go and not break her pocket but you know spend some money to get it and this is the LA colors the I heart makeup contour palette and this is what it looks like and it brings two, four, six, eight shades. It's a contour and highlight, like I said. So let me open it up for you guys so you guys can see the inside. I mean, the packaging is not bad at all. I think it's pretty good for $5.99. Um, I found it at my local beauty supply. I didn't see it anywhere else. So it was only $5.99, like I said. And this is amazing. This is what I was grabbing and I'm still grabbing the most when it comes to contour. I haven't been using um, my, which one? The Kat Von D one. I haven't really been using that one. I've been using this one the most. And also they came out with the LA I Heart Brow Palette. And this is what it looks like. It brings a spoolie brush it brings um some tweezers oh my god can't even open this <gasps> now i don't want to break a nail so of course i took the spoolie out and it has a little brush but i really don't use this brush i rather use the anastasia brush the brow brush i don't really like these they really don't work for you and it also brought um a pencil a pencil liner or to define your eyebrows and also some stencils now I'm gonna say something I'm gonna keep it real with you guys the product itself is wonderful for your eyebrows it blends perfectly it shapes your eyebrows the way you want them but the stencils that brings don't even try it these are the stencils it brings three stencils don't even try to um, shape your eyebrows with the stencils because it does not work. I seriously took like two, three days just trying to work it out, make it happen, but it just didn't work for me. I mean, maybe it will work for you guys. Maybe you guys will find a better technique than me, but I would just place it and try to define my brows and I just couldn't. But this baby, I think it was... $6.99 I believe I think it was a dollar more than the um, contour palette but this is great 
So, for the month of April, I've been obsessed with color correcting. I think that's the big hype now. I see a lot on um, Instagram. So, I use the LA Girl brand. So, these are the ones that I use to conceal. These are my concealers. I have the shades Medium Beige natural and creamy beige so this is what i usually use to um conceal or highlight my under eyes i use my nars i use the maybelline one i use i use a couple of different ones but lately i've been reaching out more for these ones because they are more creamy and the coverage is amazing and i also grab the let me see what it is the orange corrector and this is definitely good if you have like really dark under eye circles or you have any dark spots around your face that you might want to cover it you might want to use this first and then well what I usually do I use this first and then I will put my foundation and do the rest of you know what so yes you guys I believe these are like $2.99 at my local um beauty supply if you guys are on the hunt for a good corrector and affordable you guys might want to try this one and then I also have the green corrector and this is more for red spots I don't know if you guys know the wheel to correct the colors you know which one does what so if you guys don't know, you guys might want to check it out first before you guys go and buy a corrector that you might think is for one, for one thing and it's another thing. So yes guys, definitely check them out. They are very good and very affordable. Trust me, I recommend this 100%. I know you guys are going to be like, girl, really? But I need to talk about this favorite one that I bought a couple of months ago and I really just had it there I don't know maybe for the hype because everybody was talking so many great things about it and raving about it and it's this NARS Eda I believe is the Eda brush I got it at Sephora and yes it's $55 but I think I yes I got it for the VIB sale last, I think, November. So it was 20% off for me, but still, it's kind of expensive. Like, this is the most I have paid for a brush. But you guys, this brush for contour is amazing. This one, I fell in love. And for the month of April, I was just contouring those cheeks like crazy with this baby right here. So, I'm not telling you guys go and spend $55 for this brush, but if you want to splurge in the future for a good contour brush, I definitely recommend this one. This is so soft, it gets right there and just carve that cheekbone like crazy. So, summer's around the corner, we all know that, and here in New York it gets so nasty. Like, I seriously hate summer here in New York. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is that I'm one of those that don't like to walk around with a face full of makeup in the summer because I just can't stand like the stickiness or my makeup melting. So I was in the hunt for like a good powder foundation that I could just put on my face, not really use any foundation underneath, just throw the powder foundation and I went to MAC and I purchased this baby right here. This is my lover. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. And I am in the shade NC42. This is what it looks like. Right here. And here it brings like a little spongy, but I never use those. And I'm telling you guys, if you want some kind of coverage... But you guys don't want to feel cakey and you guys don't want to wear any foundation underneath you guys should check this out i don't remember the price but i'm telling you all you need is this 
summertime you want to go out but you don't want to wear a lot of makeup or you want some kind of coverage on your face wear this put this on your face and trust me you will love it it's the, it keeps me matte also because um april i was it was kind of hot there were some days that were kind of hot and i really didn't feel like wearing foundation so i would just throw this on my face and you guys nothing better than this i mean maybe there's other good products out there and you guys might want to share it with me so don't forget to post it down below but so far this is what i've been loving i was loving like crazy for the month those hot days in the month of april that we just had so you guys you know where to go i have two more products to share with you guys one is makeup related and the other one not so makeup related so my obsession in the month of april goes to the sleek makeup highlighting palette in salties so i grabbed it because someone on snapchat was raving like crazy about it and i heard a couple i heard a couple of other people rave about it but you know i have so many highlighters that i'm like really daisy like do you really need another highlighter like i have a full drawer just with highlighters and if you guys want to see my highlight collection um request it down below i'll gladly film that for you but this one is the newest addition to my collection and it's so sleek and i love the um the gold is like a gold coppery and this is what it looks in the inside the only thing that i'm gonna say i don't like is the fact that this don't go all the way back i don't know if you guys could see so it's kind of like oh but you know what i don't care because the product right there is amazing you guys this was only 14.99 in their um site that's the only place that i think they sell it i don't know i'm gonna try to find that out for you guys but I'm gonna give you guys a swatch. And I'm gonna, I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, you could see it definitely on my finger. I don't know if you see it. And it's like right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Sorry, excuse my hand. But I was doing some swatches earlier. This baby is so creamy and so amazing, you guys. And for $14.99, you can't go wrong. If you guys in, are on the hunt for a uh, affordable um, highlighting palette, you guys, check it out. I know you want to glow like me in the summer, so this will help you shine bright as a freaking star. So, yes, you guys, check it out. So, sorry, I was drinking some lemonade. That's the new obsession, right? With that Beyonce song. Not really into it, but I kind of do like lemonade. I like to drink lemonade, not the video or the song, but hey, you do you, I do me. So, talking about lemon, I've been using this thing like crazy um since the summer um came did i just say the summer since spring got here so oh my god i'm all over the place god seriously you guys you guys might think i'm drunk and i haven't drank a sip of alcohol in months i am bugging out i apologize so yes i've been using this right here and this is the ck1 perfume and this is what i usually wear in the springtime and in the summertime because it smells so fresh and it smells like it's like a sexy but soft and clean scent and it also smells like like lemon yeah oh my god <coughs> i could taste it so yeah, this, oh my God, I get so many compliments when I wear this 
because I don't know it's just like I love wearing this so much in the summer because I usually when I go to the beach so yes you guys that completes my small little list of things that I was enjoying for the month of April I will be coming with a tutorial um this week I don't know exactly what day but if you guys have any suggestions of maybe a look that you guys want to see um don't forget to post it down below if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you haven't su subscribed please subscribe that will help me a lot i love you guys and i will see you in the next one